The piece is centered around what we feel are the six most primary human emotions of tranquility, happiness, joy, sadness, fear, and anger. And uh, it progresses through those emotions and, and kind of blurs the lines between them in some places throughout the piece, which I feel is really awesome. So the idea for this piece came about when uh, me and Brady were sitting in an immersed lecture and uh, Matt was talking about how it's a bad idea to try and convey emotions in music because everyone has their own uh, like understandings and definitions of, of what emotions are. And um, we started thinking about the idea of instead of uh, trying to convey emotions, we would try and express emotion. So we picked a, a whole range of, of emotion. We just set about trying to kind of uh, encapsulate those emotions uh, with musical sounds. Uh, that presented us with a lot of challenges which um, were, were very interesting and helped us develop a lot more as musicians and worked really well in the, in the final uh, piece. In the beginning, Lucas and I really wanted to try and create all of the sounds ourselves, whether it be recorded sounds that we can make or synthesizing sounds um, to make up the whole composition. But um, as we got further and further into the compositional process, uh, other things just were drawn to us and we added them in and it became what it is now. So we approached the composition of this one in a really kind of interesting way. Uh, we started off with uh, just a bed track of a heartbeat and from that we tried to build everything around that as the, as the central uh, focal point of the piece. Um, and so that often involved us coming up with a bunch of different sounds that convey the, the kind of aesthetic uh, that we were searching for in that particular piece. Uh, once we found our primary compositional element of the heartbeat, we decided that that was going to be the foundation for everything else in the piece and it was going to be the constant in the whole song. There's only maybe one section where it drops out for a little bit, um, but it only comes building back up again. One thing that was vital for making sure this project was going to work was having an understanding of all the technology we were going to be using and in particular how Reaper works, the software that we used, um, and the speakers. Um, it was really, really important for us to learn as much about the speakers as we could before going into this, um, particularly its frequency response and dispersion angle, uh, the quality of sound that we were going to be getting from them, and, um, and understand how the sounds we were using were going to be affected by the speakers. Reaper was, was an incredibly powerful tool because it allowed us to do exactly what we wanted with very little compromise. Uh, being able to either bring everything in already written or bring stuff in and then write it on the fly uh, was, was really easy in, in the Reaper environment and uh, with just like a little bit of, of, of fiddling around and getting to know the, the, the workflow that they had. Um, it was really easy to just have an idea and then make it happen. Uh, and that was certainly instrumental in, uh, in getting, the, getting the composition to, to where we wanted it to be. In conjunction to this, we also had to take into consideration the fact that in the foyer, these speakers are going to be spaced so much further apart than what they are in the studio. So any movement in between speakers is going to be blurred it's going to be slower and it could be messier. So that also made a big factor in our compositional and, and mixing processes. Another piece of technology that was really important to the, uh, the final performance of our, of our music was um, the, the speakers which were supplied to us by our AT professionals. Um, the, the, these being the uh, MKB200 and the MK100 uh, speakers. Uh, because they really provide us a great sound, uh, exactly the kind of thing that we wanted in our uh, performance. Um, and being able to have those both in the, in the studio environment as well as in the performance environment means that we have a really good idea of how they're going to end up sounding uh, in, the, in, the, in the final uh, foyer performance. It was suggested to us that we take our composition from stereo 
to 5.1 and then 5.1 to 12.2 where I would end up. But with all of the different things that Lucas and I were wanting to do, we figured we, we found it easiest to go from the sounds that we had straight to 12.2 to see if they would work in that space. And it's probably one of the reasons that our composition and mixing was so quick and such an easy process because we were able to say this works and now this whole section we can shape it and mold it and do all of that automation almost at the, at the one time. And, that, and therefore we were able to finish the composition and, and everything else in little five minute increments for the five, for the six different sections and have the whole piece finished in a really short amount of time. So the ability to choose what comes out of the sub and what comes out of the, the regular speakers uh, made it a lot easier for us to plan uh, exactly where in the environment we would place certain sounds. It really made it a lot easier to, to try and translate our ideas of uh, the, the, the listener's space uh, into the into the the way that the foyer is set up, and I really think that that is one of the most important parts of. Uh, and so, a big thanks to AT Professionals for uh, giving us this kind of technology and, and letting us take advantage of it. Uh, working in surround sound is is just fantastic. Um, this isn't my first time working with it, but. I haven't used so many speakers before. I've only worked in 5.1 previously. So having such an amazing amount of freedom in placement and spatialization is just, it was phenomenal. Working in a surround sound environment was, was really interesting. Uh, and it's, it's the kind of thing that I haven't done before. This was really my first time approaching it. Uh, and so it was, it was really uh, beneficial for me, I think, as a musician uh, to be able to go from only having like in stereo to suddenly being in 12.2 channels. Um, it gave me a lot of new insight into uh, just how powerful panning can be. And I feel like it really enhanced uh, my skills as a musician uh, and as a listener to music in general. I'm quite happy with the finished product. I'm very impressed about how well Lucas and I have worked together to come up with something that's very indicative of both our different views of music and, and the different things that we do outside of this project. Uh, we were able to incorporate things from our own genres like Lucas's uh, dubstep and, and, and electronic music and me being able to sneak some musical theatre in there was quite impressive, I thought. So overall, I'm really happy with the way that our project turned out. Um, it has a really good contrast between a lot more relaxed, quiet sections and then the, the very uh, loud and, and grating ones. And I really like just the range that we have in the, in the piece. We created a lot of interesting uh, musical choices and sounds, and I feel like uh, at the end of it, it'll be either something that is just pleasant to have one in the background or the kind of thing where you can sit down, actively listen to it for an extended period of time and still have an interesting experience. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with the way that this piece turned out. Um, I think we made a lot of, of good musical choices and uh, took advantage of the technology that we had access to in such a way that there's not really anything in the piece that I would change. Uh, I am really happy that I can put something like this on, on my resume and have it uh, as a part of my folio of work. And um, overall, I'm just, I'm just really pleased with the outcome of this assignment. Yeah, I'm very happy with the finished product. I, I feel it has progressed nicely and uh, it's not too intense for too long, which is nice because nobody likes really in-your-face music, particularly for half an hour. <laughs>